What then occurs is the application of a mathematical construct that we call normalization. And let me define the meaning of normalization for you. Normalization is the removal of data redundancy. The removal of data redundancy. Unfortunately, I'm not sure that that definition clarifies to most practitioners the importance of normalization and the total uh, essence of what it really performs for you. The elimination of data redundancy simply means that I have elements that I really don't need. Uh, one of those types of elements is what we call a derived element. So for example, if I had quantity times price equal to amount, one could argue that amount is redundant because it's the result of a calculation. If I have quantity and I have price, I can always calculate amount. One of the issues with normalization is that while I normalize, which is what they call it, I will find very much that it will provide challenges with respect to the performance of the database itself. So the critics of normalization suggest that part of its implementation causes performance issues. Indeed it does, and we'll address some of those today. But more important than the issue of redundancy, which doesn't seem to be that critical whether we, I have it or not, is another issue of what I would call integrity. Now let's look at, for a minute at the word integrity. If someone comes up to you and says, I have no integrity, what does that mean? If someone were to come to you and say, the database has no integrity, that's a serious problem. It simply means that I cannot depend on it. And what I want you to think about as we go through this lecture is that every time you violate normalization, you will indeed create a data integrity issue, which means that the dependency of the quality of the data will be at risk. Very often, what we do to combat a violation of normalization is to write programs to do the work that normalization was going to do for us. And let me be clear what normalization is trying to accomplish. It is trying to achieve the protection of data or its integrity and elimination of redundancies to do that at the database level. Now what that means is that I don't want to write programs to protect my data. I want the data to be protected by the laws of normalization, which is what I get, what I achieve when I buy products like Oracle and Sybase, DB2, SQL Server 7, and Informix. Those are products, while there are many others, that provide me with what they call referential integrity. And notice the word integrity. If I normalize, I will maximize the referential integrity, which means the integrity of the referencing between data files. Now, a lot of this will become clearer as we go through an example. Uh, showing an example is the best method to really understand how to go through normalization. But before we go through that example, it's also important to define what we call normal forms. What this suggests is that getting to a fully normalized database creates or requires stages. And the first stage we call first normal form, or as the industry calls it, first NF. And for, in order for a database to achieve first normal form, there must be no repeating elements. Now, what we'll also find today is that elements tend to repeat in groups. So many people call it no repeating groups. Once you reach first normal form, you then get into what we call second normal form, or second NF, which is no partial dependencies. On part of the primary key which I'll notate as PK. 
Now, I ask it this time uh, for your patience. It is very difficult to fully understand how normalization works from these descriptions. So as soon as I get to the point where I've defined these, I will then get into an actual example. Indeed, this is why learning how to apply normalization is such a challenge. And then there is third normal form, which is no non-key attributes dependent on another non-key attribute. Now, an element becomes an attribute in an entity, which I'll discuss in a few minutes. What this simply means is that I cannot have two elements dependent on each other to be in third normal form. And once again, I will clarify all these issues as we go on. The um, next thing I want to mention to you before we go on is there is something known as fourth and fifth normal form. But the industry does not utilize fourth and fifth normal form as part of its implementations, meaning that the industry accepts the fact that if we can get to third normal form, we will have accomplished the level that we want to get to. Therefore, in terms of today's discussion, I am, will only go through third normal form with you.